Hi everyone, welcome back to A Star Personal Tutoring. In this session, we're going to order fractions from the least to the greatest. Now, I'm going to give you an example first. We're going to do two sevenths, one seventh, and we have three sevenths. Now, based on this, we know that all the denominators are the same, and now we're going to focus on the least fraction and going up in order to the greatest fraction. So we'll look at our numerators. Let's start off with 1 seventh because that's the least. It comes first. It goes before 2. And then we have 2 sevenths. And our greatest by the numerator is our 3 sevenths. So this is pretty much straightforward. Because I had the same denominators, I could easily have done it from the least to the greatest. But what would happen if I had to arrange the order from the least to the greatest using different denominators? So that's our focus today. Okay, my first example is going to be two thirds. We're going to have a half. And our final one is going to be three quarters or three fourths. Now we need to change the denominators first into a common denominator and by doing so we need to find the least common multiple. Now let's focus on our two thirds first. We're going to find the multiples. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. The next one is um, a half so we're going to go up in twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 40, and our final one is multiples of 4, so we're going to count up in 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Now I would like you to pause this video and find out which number, well which numbers are the least common. Have a look, I can see 12 in that one. I can see 12 again and I can see 12 again. So 12 is our common multiple. So I'm going to be using number 12 for our denominators because 3, 2 and 4 all go into 12. Okay, so we know that we're going to use 12 for our common denominator. I'm going to write it underneath here. Now how many 3's go into 12? 3, 6, 9, 12. We're going to multiply that by 4. What you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. 2 times 4 equals 8. So we've done the first one. And our second one, we're going to look at how many 2's go into 12. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we're going to multiply that by 6. 1 times 6 equals 6. And now for our final one, how many 4's go into 12? 4, 8, 12. We're going to multiply that by 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. So now we've got them all into the same denominator, which is great. And now we just need to order them from the least to the greatest. Now we're going to look at our numerators. So as I can, so as I can tell, 6 twelfths is the least, which is a half. So a half is the smallest. Our next one is 8 twelfths. So we're going to put 2 thirds there. And for our final one is our 9 twelfths, which is 3 fourths, 3 over 4. And there you go. That's our first example done. That was pretty much straightforward. The important thing is to make sure it's in the same denominator, find a multiple and then convert it. Okay, we're going to have a look at one more example. And this time I want you to have a go on your own. And let me know what you get in the comments. Okay, so this time we're going to have seven eighths. We are going to have five sixths. And we're going to have one third. Now we need to find the same denominator. And in order to do that, we need to find the least common multiple. Yeah. Now we have our numbers. We are going to convert our denominators by using our multiples. So let's start off with eight. We've got eight, 16, 24, 32, 
40 and 48. Now we're going to use our multiples of 6. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. And for our final one, we have multiples of 3. We've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Now I can see in each row there is 24. And I'm going to use 24 for our common denominator because 8, 6 and 3 goes into 24. Okay, let's make a start. Okay. So we're going to use 24. Put 24 over there. And let's use our technique that we've learned on how to convert. So how many 8s go into 24? 8, 16, 24. You multiply by 3. 7 times 3 is 21. Now let's do the same for this one. 6, 12, 18, 24. You're going to multiply by 4. 5 times 4 equals 20. And then we've also got how many 3s go into 24? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. You're going to multiply it by 8. 1 times 8 equals 8. And now we're going to arrange the order from the least to the greatest according to our numerators. It's pretty obvious that 8 24 is the smallest. So I'm going to put 8. So we're going to have a third first. And then it's going to be 5 6. And then our greatest one is 21 24, which is 7 8. And there you go. Um, that's it really. That's how we arrange fractions. Well done if you got that right. You are now a star at ordering fractions.